Welcome to Antalya, Turkey for round three of the Metaxan Archery World Cup 2007. Antalya is home for nearly 700,000 and an archery complex to rival the Koreans. Archery was studied here long before the first books were ever published on the subject, so it should come as no surprise then that this archery event has attracted more archers than any previous World Cup event. With only four points separating second and seventh place in the compound men's competition, there's no room for error. It's still very open, which is very good news for uh, the last uh, event. Uh, I think it's also, we're seeing some generation changes. Korean young team, uh, Russian girl very young. Uh, we'll see some new faces uh, because of generation change, I think. We have more archers coming to, to a position to go to the final in Dubai. And it's quite exciting because in Dover we will have many archers in each of the categories fighting to go to the, to the final. It's a good evolution. Uh, new faces is, is good for the sport and, uh, well, keeps the other ones on the edge. Uh, for instance, Jorge Jimenez, he proves that he's not a machine. Uh, he can also shoot an eight or a nine. I'm very happy to see this competition and, and really the archers are trying to get this position to the final, which is very exciting. After her six points in Olsen and 21 points from Vrezi after losing out to Korea's Hai Yun Lee in the final, Natalia Erdneva arrived in Antalya in first place with 27 points. For our first match, we joined Sung Jin Lee and Natalia Veliva. Sung Jin looking for her first points on the World Cup table and Natalia making her second appearance in a bronze final in as many weeks. After shooting 29 in the first end, Natalia took an early two-point lead. In end two, Sung Jin matched Natalia on 27 from three arrows, but would not find a way to recover from the two points lost in the, in the first end. With Natalia shooting two eights in the last end, Sung clawed back, and after 12 arrows, both archers were even on 110. In the tie break, it was Natalia to shoot first with an eight, but Sung Jin finished in style with a perfect 10 and 18 World Cup points. The men's recurve leaderboard seems somewhat empty without Park, but the appearance of Thomas Aubert is refreshing as France begins to show dominance in all disciplines. Frangilli, who took 25 points from a win in Varese, is nowhere to be seen in the final stages here in Antalya. Juan René, who finished 59th in Varese and 34th in Olsen, fought his way through a field of Korean archers before losing out to Yon Chui Kim in the semi-finals. Hang Feng Shui went out in the semi-finals, losing seven points against Ji Wan Im. Zhu, already on the leaderboard with 10 points from Olsen, needs the bronze medal and the points if he's going to keep his hopes alive for a place in Dubai for the finals. Zhu's shot a perfect 30 in the first end, taking an early lead over the young Mexican. Eight As points. the last arrow of the second end hit the target, both archers go. were on 55 each. End three, and Zhu shot his second eight of the match, and Serrano pulled into the lead with one point. Seven points. As you can see there, Zhu at the moment with 11 arrows on 98. Serrano, 10 arrows, 91 points. Nine points. That's another nine. He needed that. Nine points. 12 arrows, 107 points for Zhu. Serrano up next. Eight to win. Eight will win. Ten. Ten. So after a second seven from Zhu, Serrano held on to finish the match with a three-point margin, a bronze medal, and his first World Cup points. All was perfect. You know? The organization, the teams, the, all the people, uh, the hotel, everything. I feel so, so good. It's, I was shaking all the time, so I'm very proud. Despite some surprises and poor finishing from Sofia, she holds first place. 
but in one of the most competitive disciplines, Shabani Akram, Jamie Van Natter and teammate Anna Katzenseva are all in line for a World Cup final place. Anastasia, who has yet to score in the World Cup, lost out to Anna Katzenseva in the semi-finals, losing 110 to 106. Anastasia can be proud of her victory over star of Vereze Petra Eriksson. Gladys, who took 18 points from a bronze in Vereze, beat Sofia Gontarova in the quarterfinals, 115 to 111, before losing by just one point to Jamie Van Natter in the semi-finals. That's a 10. After a confident first three arrows, Anastasia could only manage 22 points from a second end. Gladys, however, shot a perfect 30 in the second, bringing her total to 57 compared to Anastasia's 49. And that's a nine. There's a big speed difference between Anastasia and You can see the Gladys score there. The, uh, We've got theaters. Willems on 103 on 11 that's arrows. For the final arrow for Anastasia. And Anastasio, there we go, 12 arrows, 102 points. Final arrow after clinching on that first shot. And Gladys Willems is the bronze medal. In the third end, Anastasia and Gladys shot 27 each. But with the damage Gladys already done, Gladys powered her way through the final end to win by clear 10 points. To the finals of the World Cup. Anastasia, Anastasia with a great fourth place finish and more importantly, some more. Points. The final was very good. I shot well. At the last arrow, I felt stressed even though I was nine points ahead. I'm very satisfied with a bronze medal. For me, every tournament is the same. I want to place on the podium. But the weather here is nice compared to Varese. I enjoyed the competition here a lot. After a bronze medal in Varese, a second bronze in Italia will put Roberval into the top four. But the man to watch as Jorge Jimenez takes some rest after going out in the early stages here in Italia is Francis Sebastian Brazur, who starts the day with a team gold medal already in his pocket. And now the compound men's individual. we got uh, Hassan Fuss and Dos Santos. You can see the results there after nine arrows. Roberval, who took bronze in Varese, will have fond memories of his gold medal final here in Italia last year, where a tape measure was used by the judges to award the winning arrow. Thomas Hassenfuss, who beat Dominic Genet in qualification, is looking to take his first Nine, World Cup points. Final shot. Despite a five-point win against Laurent Piet in qualification, Roberval was beaten by one point, Sebastian Prazer in the semi-finals. Thomas fell to Braden Gelentine in the semi-final, 116 to 111. In a repeat of 2006, Roberval is in a tie-break situation with both archers finishing on 114 from 120. After Roberval fails to impress with an eight, Thomas takes the points and the medal with a 10. Coming up in just a few moments, Recurve Women's Bronze Medal Match. Representing the Russian Federation, please welcome Anna Kazatseva. Representing the United States of America. First gold medal welcome. match, we join Yana Davis and Anna Katzenseva in the third end with six hours to go. Anna leading with 54 and Yana on 51. And that's eight. There's something interesting happening with the wind in wind socks and see what they're doing. And that's a ten. Ten points. Gentlemen. Anna took a two-point lead a in the first after Yana failed to score inside the ten ring. And Anna extended the lead in the second points. with 27 to Yana's 26. And a ten. See what's happening here in the stadium. As and as you can see, see there, the scores the are 82 to 79. And you can see it's quite tight now. Ten points. Yana with two excellent wins against Shabani Akram and Gladys Willems Ten. on the way to the final. Ten. 
On 11 arrows, Davis on 99. 10. It's another 10. Final. Anna makes it 102. Nine points. So Anna came points. away from Varese with only three points after taking gold in Ulsan and is looking very relaxed with a win. In theory, if that holds up after the math is done, that means she'll have to go to Dover. Okay, Countdown men's individual gold medal. First confirmation then of World Cup rankings for Antalya and Anna slides into first place with her two goals. Sophia clings to second with a second 13 points from Antalya. Shabani is looking solid and could well be saving her best until last. Mr. Kim Ji Wong. Korea, Mr. Kim Yong Chul. As you can see, two Koreans. It's a Korean final with a difference. Neither of these archers are currently on the World Cup points board at the moment. Either way, this match is certain to place two Korean archers in the top ten. In the first end, Ji Wan matched Yong Choi on 28 points, N2, and Yong Choi took a slender one-point lead after Ji Wan shot an eight. Nine points. See the scores there, eight arrows, 74 points, nine points to lead. 10 points. That's a 10, 76 on eight arrows. Nine points. Ji Wan fought off ten. Jeff Henkels, Christian Weiss, and Turkey's own Goktuk Ergin before meeting Serempilov nine in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, Ji Wan beat Hai Feng Zui by seven points. Nine points. Ten points from Mr. Kim on target two. Now we see there. Ten from Mr. M on target one. Mr. M, there you go. Eleven arrows with 102 on the scoreboard. Nine or ten. It and looks like Kim a ten. Kim gets ten. 105. Nine points. Yon Chui faced Japan's Fukawa in the quarterfinals before his win over Robovel Dos Santos. And there in the audience, we have Sofia Gontarova. And there we have the final score. We have uh, Mr. Kim on 113 and Mr. Im on 111. It was my first time, so I was a little nervous at the beginning. But day by day, I became calmer. And the final was great, because I was shooting against a teammate. So I felt right at home. Anything could happen in this round despite leaving Antalya with only 12 points. Starempilov remains in first place. Dong Hyun Im has worked himself into second with 11 points in Antalya, but it is the remaining four archers, all on 25 points, that will provide the excitement in Dover. There you have it, sunny, 26 degrees. A lovely day today. Fairly light wind as well. And here we have Braden Gellantine. You can see his tournament average, 116, his best, 119. Ranked 24th in the world at only 21. Against Sebastian Brazur, tournament best, 118, his average, 117. Ranked 10th in the world and a year older. The clash of the Titans begins with Braden in top form on the back of his win in Varese. Sebastian, currently on 23 points after early exits in Olsen and Varese, is the man to watch with a team gold medal already in the collection. Ten. Ten. Braden faced France's Jean-Marc Biord in the qualification round, Nine went points. on to beat Wesley Gates, 112 to 115, and Patrizio Hoffer, 119 to 116 in the quarterfinals. Nine points. And that's a 10, tied score. The field of play is Logan Wilde, one of his competitors, but not right now. Logan is and there you can see it, Braden and Sebastian level pegging 29. Sebastian fought off strong challenges from Logan Wilde and Robervel Dos Santos before making it safely to the final. Nine points. Nine point lead. Sebastian has 38 points. Braden, one point ahead, four arrows. 
Nine points just out of the 10 ring. Moving ahead. Find that 257 kilometers an hour, very fast. Sebastian needs 10 just to tie. 10. And he's done it. Five arrows each, 48 points each. Faster as well, 292 kilometers an hour for that shoot. 10 points. 10 points. Braden certainly on his game here. As we mentioned, Sebastian is part of the winning men's team that also includes Dominique Genet and Jean-Marc Biel. So you can see at the end of two ends now, 58 points each. Nothing in these two at the moment. Braden, I'm sure you'll remember, shot 119 in the Varese final. And that is a nine. Ten. Ten points there for Braden. Nothing in these these archers at the moment, really. Ten points. Ten points again. Look at that. Shooting very fast. 293 kilometers an hour. Ten points. Ten again. Both these archers clearly on form at the moment. And then we have the score at the moment, 86 to 87. Both these archers very, very close all the way through at the moment. Final three arrows of this gold medal match. Trailing by one point, Sebastian Bersour of France. It's worth noting that actually uh, Jorge Jimenez from El Salvador has got the 90 meter world record this morning in Italia with uh, 347 points. The record had been held by the Australian Clint Freeman since 1998. Enrico of women, three Koreans, are now tied on top. Ten points. Another ten there for Sebastian. Braden needs ten to tie. It's a nine. And it's a nine. Got one, arrow to go. one point difference now. Ten will clinch. It is a ten. And Sebastian has clinched the match. Sebastian has clinched the match. There we go. 116 to 105. Braden takes his shot. And a 10 for Braden. One point in it. Adoring fans there for Sebastian. Well done to him. 116 points. Fantastic performance. Worth noting, Braden very, very close, mind you. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, Sebastian Rasseur. Patrizio is a sleeping giant in fourth place. Patrizio is more than capable of shooting 120 rounds, and that might just be the tactic. Dover is going to be one of the most hotly contested archery events. As any event organizer worth his money will tell you, to put on an event like this, you need friends. And by that, I mean friends with a previous track record in wearing orange. Human effort is necessary for all kinds of duties uh, and uh, a good organization, cooperation, collaboration are also necessary for this kind of major events. The important thing is to give the team spirits, to make everybody understand that we are working for the archers, we are making for make a good event and to make a good show. All of them are volunteers, generally from the schools, but almost all of them are also young Turkish archers. We cannot make an event without the volunteers. The volunteers are a key part of this. We can have pesta, we can have organizers, we can have presidents, but if the volunteers don't make this link with the archers, the event is not good. What is important is that uh, the quality of the top archers is seen here in all the division, in Recur, Compound and everything. And now we have the recurve women's gold, Natalia Erdneva from Russia and Yun Yong Choi from Korea. 
Russian, only 19 years old, ranked 105 in the world. And Choi with 21 points on the World Cup leaderboard from Ulsan faces Erdneva on currently on 27, having competed in Ulsan and Varese. Natalia should probably have done better in Ulsan, scoring only six points, and will be looking to put the record straight here in Natalia. Seven points. Nah, ten points, ten. Erdneva pulling ahead strongly. Nine points. Nine points. Nine points for Erdneva. Only just though. Both archers face strong competition from the German ladies in the quarterfinals before facing the recurve strength of the Italian and Korean archers in the semis. There we have it, 28 points for Erdneva so far after three arrows. And now we have also after three arrows, 25 for Choi. Seven, nine, nine, no tens there, unlike Erdneva. Choi shoots. And that is a liner. Too close to call, isn't it? I call it a nine from here. Choi faced teammate Lee in a semi final that went to a tiebreaker after both archers finished 110. Choi nine shot a 10 to, to finish the match in style. On the right side. And that is just out of the 10 ring, it's a nine. It is here in Italia now official. 332 archers from 51 countries. The Metaxan Archery World Cup is the largest one. Eight points. In the Rico of Women's, we've got 105 individuals on 24 teams, 124 in the men's on 30 teams. And then we have results so far Choi on 52, Erdneva 54. Six hours each so far. 10, dead center. 10 for Troy. She needed that. Nine points, tied score. Uh, Neva, nine points. Troy needed that one as well. That's a 10. It's another 10 for Troy. She's found her form by the looks of things. That's a nine, and now it is a tied score. Seven. Tied score so far. Troy's pulled herself back. Eight points. Worth noting, in 2006, in the uh, women's competition, Asian you Archery Grand Prix, first round she got, came first. There we have the scores at the moment. Erden Neighbor on 82, Choi on 80. Choi did pull herself back, but uh, still two points shy. Erden Neighbor to shoot. Nine. Nine points. Nine. Another nine. Both now on ten arrows. Nine points. Nine points there for Choi. Eight points to lead. Nine. Final arrows. Nine. There we go. Eden Neva. 100 points and 98. Two points in it now. Nine points for Choi. Erdneva needs eight to win. She's more than capable of doing that, of course. Eight points will win. It's a nine. It's a nine. She done it. So they have the winner, Natalia Erdneva, 109 points there. And Choi, 107. That last day in 27 points. For 2007. It's going to be one more time for a gold medal match. The men's three for coming up shortly. It was very exciting with people watching, and I enjoyed my shooting. The whole event was great.
After, I will take part in Leipzig, and I am planning to go to Dover. But my real dream is to go to the Olympic Games. With 10 points now separating first and second place, Natalia has reason to be smiling. Once again, Dover will provide all the action, particularly if we're joined by an on-form Zhuang Zhuang Zhang. Many thanks for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this event as much as we have. We will see you again soon for round four in Dover.